Hello everyone and welcome back to the Bone of Isaac Repentance. Today we're going to play as Azazel. We're going to do a greedier run. Okay, meat, damage and health up. That's a great start for the first item room. Let's see if there's anything we want to buy. There is things we want to buy. I'm uh, going to use this bomb right here. Okay. So, coupon. Let me use that. Gives us a free item. The only thing is, I don't know if this is going to have an effect on actually buying things. Because it won't restock. Which, yeah, that might be a problem. But, that's fine. We'll see how this goes. We got things we want to buy. Coupon I thought was going to be a good thing, but yeah, it's not going to restock everything if I if I use it, which could cause a problem for me. But we got to just try and get these done as quickly as possible. It's going to save money. Because it's going to mean I can't just buy things and keep buying them. I don't know. I I don't know if this is going to be something I'm going to keep. If it's going to do something like this. Just buy the glass eye, damage and look up. So we got really good damage. Do need a key, so maybe I'm just gonna end up doing Maybe that's what I'm gonna do. I'm probably not gonna use the coupon until the very end of the floor. Which will only give me one item from it, but whoops. I think that might be a little safer than Picking it something up and not being able to restock it. That's gonna be my plan. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Bit of key for in here. Okay, tooth and nail, that's that's pretty good. Tooth and nail. At a certain point I have some brief and vulnerability. And then I can go into rooms for free with that. Speed down. No, that's not good. That one's fine. Uh, usually it's a good animation to show when you've got this. But with this, it, I just have to keep an eye on my eyes. It also protects me from being hit as well. Not just walking into those rooms for free. But that's what I'm going to really use it for. This shouldn't take too long. With my brimstone laser. Okay, we're not going to go into the devil room. We want angel rooms. And we're good to go. Didn't get a lot of money. I was kind of hoping for a bit more. Pills, which I'll use it. All steel, very nice. Two soul hearts. That was an okay first fall. Got a key lump of coal. The further my tears go, or the further my brimstone laser goes, the more damage it will do. Range is great because that will make my laser actually go further. Um, you can't really see it, but you probably can a little bit. My laser gets a little bigger the further it goes. So if I hit things 
further away it'll do more damage another free key so I don't have to buy and spend another one that's great I am gonna check what's in you a little bit of money okay uh, I'll do this as well very nice uh, I'm not really interested in anything in the shop so I might just not spend any money this fall whoops didn't charge enough got through the skate bones pretty quick which is always a bonus oh how many are you I think I just missed getting those in the timer but as long as I'm taking them out that's fine That one well. Did I get one hit, I think? Remember to actually go in this thing here. More bombs. Don't normally get bombs on um on a greed mode, so. These will come in useful just to try and get a bit more money from from things. I'll tend to probably just blow up the keepers. Ugh. I don't have a trinket, so I guess the bit cap isn't the worst thing. Yeah, we still don't want anything. Let's do this to get our ranger room. I actually got a really good liberty cap as well, which gave me some pretty good stats. These are both good. But we're going to take Holy Mantle. I'm also going to blow the Angel up just for increased Angel Room chance. So the key piece, that's why it's a good thing to have bombs as well. So when I get the Angel and Devil Room chance on our next fours, I'll have a little bit of a higher chance. For the um, angel rooms, small rock is a um, speed down, but damage and tears up, which is good. I'm doing really well with damage. Holy mantle, I didn't say, gives you a um, one free hit, so a shield for every room. So I've just used it there, but I get a free hit. Using two bombs for these is worth. I only need to use one really, thinking about that. I don't know what items I'm going to be getting, so this could be bad. I'm going to swap to the Book of Belial, actually. That's, that'll be good. Consolation Prize is a increase on your lowest stat, which was Tears Up, so that's good. Now I'll shoot faster. Uh, Book of Loyal is a use item that when I use it, I get damage for the room that I use it in. So that's good for waves. And again, I'm probably not going to spend any money because I can't see what items there are. This is a really good run. I'm getting a lot of good things.
And at some point, I will spend some money, and at that point, I will have a lot of money to be able to just get whatever I want. Jerk. Spawn right on top of me. So we leave this room just to get our shield back. Lost the Book of Oil, but I didn't use it more than once, so I'll just get it back. Oops. Don't do it. Angel's too good for me. Can't get my holy mantle back because I'll lose the damage up. But I can just cheese this here. That's fine. Angel room, what we got? Oh, no, yeah, I can't. Uh, this one? Eden Soul. Eden Soul's good. If you use it, it drops two items, I think, for you to pick up. Just random items. I think if I use it. In another angel room, I get two angel room items. I think it's equivalent to what room you're in. It gives you, but I want the damage up. I don't know what I, what else I could have had, so it's not a big deal. Um, not going to spend any more money, so we'll just move on. Okay, again, not a bad fall. Actually, do want to spend a bit of money now, though. Because they're blind. Is that... Yeah, I can't see the items again. Tear detonator. How does that work? With my brimstone? That name. I'm not going to say it. But tear size. And range up. Range is very good. I don't think the tear size affects my... My laser. Yeah, that does nothing to my laser. But I've cursed the bind again, so I can't see items. So again, I'm not going to be spending any money on items that I don't know what they are. That's just not worth it. So we're going to end up with a lot of money at the end of this, by the looks of it. I haven't used mob. Way too healthy. Use the brimstone again. No, the book of Blyle again. Get my damage up even more. Even with all my damage and everything going on, I'm still not fast enough to beat all these straight away but uh, that's going to be a hit I need more soul hearts because I'm losing a lot of health but we'll just carry on with this keep the damage up as long as we can that's not fair I don't want this I don't feel good I don't think there was any soul hearts in that room anyway, so we'll just carry on. Oh, I don't know why I didn't get hit then, but I'll take it. Thank you for the health up. Rosemary tears up and more soul hearts. So I'm good now. Guess I'll get the extra key piece just so why not. Kind of want to use bookable oil in here. Speed it up a bit. But we're almost there. More chance for angel rooms just in case I have the bombs to spare. 
Wait, why are my tears blue? What? I'm going to use a bit of money to try and get soul hearts. Because I want a couple more. One more. That'll do. That looks good. We're back to being healthy. We don't have a Curse of the Blind, which is great. Eight inch nails, a damage up. Normally it would give knockback. I don't think it does that with... Um, I don't know if that does that with the Brimstone Laser. We also had um, the Bible, which is a book that would just give you flight when you use it. But because I had three Angel Room items, um, I got the Seraphim. Um, something Seraphim. I can't remember what it's called. But that would, if I didn't have flight, it would give me flight and it gave me soul hearts. I think I, I had more soul hearts than I needed. Blue cap, health up, uh, tears up, shot speed down, that's fine. I'm also going to take squeezy, which is another tears up. Even though, did that give me tears up or am I at full tears? Um, and two soul hearts, don't need them. Halo I'm also going to take for uh, just stats up. So... I think I'm at the tier cap, because I'm pretty sure that does give you tiers, and I've spent a lot of money, so we're going to go, but I've got a lot of damage, my range is good, that definitely seemed worth it for all the money I spent, wait what happened then, oh it's that guy, good good, it's going well. We actually have health to spare as well, so if whoops, so when I do inevitably take damage, because I might here, I do have the soul heart so I can get back up. I'm yeah, like I said, I think I'm actually at the point where I'm not going to spend any more money, just because of everything I've got. I'm um, should be good for the rest of the run, so we're just going to save up the money. Put it into the machine. Have I been in here yet? Yes, I did. That's fine. Also, it does look like the 8 inch nails knockback does work with the laser. Because I am definitely doing some kind of knockback. Do I hit me? Did that to myself. Okay, now we can see the angel room as well. Those aren't actually worth it. But we'll take Dead Dove, which gives flight and spectral tears. We had both of those anyway, but that was a bit more worth it than anything else. Um, and we're good to go. Didn't need those soul hearts after all. I do like the brimstone look though, because of the dead dove, the spectral effect. So the shop, do we want anything? I did say I wasn't going to spend any more money, but Sty, that would be pretty nice to have. I guess we'll see how much money we end up with at the end of this. Those guys need to stay away because they can take my money. Uh, I don't want to lose any money. Getting a little crowded in here. More things that can take money off me. So stay away. Try and get those first. Oh, 
Oh, that's a that's a champion I've never seen before. The rainbow coloured ones. That's really cool. Dang it. I'm kind of hoping that that would blow up a lot sooner. So we did lose a little bit of health. Could have been worse, but we're fine. Stop spawning things that can take my money. It's not very nice. I've earned all the money I have. Don't do it. And it ends with a devil room. I guess we'll see. Um, Sure, why not? The mark, it's a damage and speed up. Looks like it gave me a black heart as well. Pretty nice. Do you want the leech? Probably not. So we'll... We're going to take Stoy as well. Stoy is a damage and range up. Usually it would be for every other tier, so I don't know how that works with a Brimstone Laser, if it just has a chance to activate or not. What are you? Okay, don't even care. And we're full health, so let's go. A bit of money for the machine. That's the main goal for all this. A win would be nice, but... Oh, I'd win anyway, so I don't know what I'm talking about. But the money in the machine is really what I want. I'm going to blow these up just for a little bit more chance of money. Okay. We may lose some in this fight, because I do think we'll get hit. But I mean, we got hit straight away because we couldn't even see what we were doing. So, thanks for that. I'm really appreciating all the hits. I'm really appreciating all of this, yeah. That that's absolutely fair. Take the money before you do. Stay away. One good money though. <laughs> oh no. My money came to it's worthless now. That means nothing to me. How did that guy not blow up? What kind of thing was that? I got some kind of magnet thing on me because things are flying at me very strange I'm really confused some things look like they are flying at me money I want that get a little bit of money back okay once or twice more should do it you stay away from me when you're doing that, because you're just evil. Nope. Don't let that hit me. I can't cheese this like I, like I did before, where I kind of just like lead him away one place. No! You moved it. You fiend. Get away. Those are some definite throws. Okay, 
Okay, this isn't going as well as I'd hoped. But you are dropping money for me. I now actually have more than I started with. Whoops. Kind of probably shouldn't care too much about picking things up as well. Try just like let him pick things up and hope that there'll be some left over by the end of all this. There we go. Okay. A little bit of money. Batwing has appeared in the basement. Let's see how much of this we can put in. Hopefully a lot. Store key has appeared in the basement. Nice. So we got A unlock. Almost at 700 as well. So we're getting there. We're very close. Probably going to need another three or four runs to fully do that. But yeah. That was an okay run. Got a bit sketchy at the end right there on the, um, that fight, but when you've got such a low range thing, you can't really do much with that, especially Ultra Greed, um, the gold form, because the explosions, you just can't really do much. But that is going to do it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.